Hello again. I hope you enjoyed the puppet play. This story of Jesus calling the fishermen to be his disciples is one that we did a couple of years ago in Sunday school, so some of you may remember it. You may remember, too, that we did a craft based on this story, and I have a sample of that craft that I'll be showing you right away. I'm going to be reading the story from Luke, verses 1 to 11, and as I'm reading, I'd like you to try to imagine you are one of the people on the shore of the lake that day, and think about what might have surprised you. As I read, I will show you the craft, and if you want to jot down some ideas, that would be fine too. If you're very familiar with the story already, it'll be a little harder for you to think about surprises, but do your best. Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret, which is Lake Galilee, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night long but have caught nothing. Yet, if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching people. When they had brought their, their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. So as you imagined you were in the crowd that day, did anything surprise you? I think the first surprise that people might have had that day was that Jesus was teaching from inside a boat on the edge of a lake. That is a bit unusual. And when he got into the boat, I'm thinking that people figured he was just going to leave to go somewhere across the lake so he could get some peace. And what about Jesus' instructions to the disciples to go out on the water again after they'd been fishing for hours and caught nothing and had finished cleaning their nets? That instruction, I think, would have surprised people, but they might have been even more surprised when the disciples obeyed. And can you imagine their shock when they were shouting, they heard shouting from offshore, hey, we need help with all these fish. Bring out the second boat. The nets are tearing. Must have been pretty exciting. Another thing that would have surprised people was Peter's reaction to Jesus after the event. He fell down on his knees saying, Lord, I am a sinful man. People might have wondered what that statement had to do with a big catch of fish. But Jesus understood why Peter did this. Finally, Jesus' invitation to the fishermen to follow him would have surprised people, but I think they were even more surprised when the disciples actually did drop everything and follow him. So when you examine the story carefully, there are many surprises in it. What can we learn then from this amazing story? There are always many things to learn from Bible stories, but we'll just look at a couple. One is that we all need to come to a realization that we need Jesus in our lives. Peter came to that conclusion after witnessing this miracle. He realized that he had made many mistakes in life and needed help. And he recognized something in Jesus that made him believe the help would come from him. I think another important lesson we learn is that we are not to give up on God. 
There are so many times in life when we get discouraged, times when it is hard to take one more step in God's service. The fishermen must have been discouraged after working all night or all evening and catching nothing, but because Jesus instructed them to go out one more time, they did it. I'm not sure why it is, But it seems just when we are at the end of our energies or feel we have no more strength or ideas left, it is at that time that God chooses to reveal to us the next step. In the case of the fishermen, they needed to obey Christ and cast their nets on the water again, even though all logic told them that this would not work. So a key lesson in the story then is persistence, and patience. We really need both when we are followers of Christ. But God wants to help us with our efforts to follow his Son. And there's a great verse of encouragement in Isaiah 40. It's verse, it's verse 31. It goes like this. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength, They shall rise up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. God wants us to always remain hopeful, to be patient in spite of difficult situations, and to continually ask for help in prayer. I'd like to close with a short prayer right now, so I invite you to bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the example that the disciples have set for us. Help us to do as they did and to be willing to keep trying to follow you even when we become discouraged and tired. Help us to remember to always pray to you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. That's all for right now. I hope you have a good week. We will have another puppet play ready for you next week, a lion and turtle one. And so until then, stay safe.